You have been there for me through the good and the bad, and we've helped each other with our problems and taught each other so many things. I know my class has taught me some valuable lessons, and we've had some fun together as well. Right now, I'd like to say a little something about each person in the class, and of course, as always, I'm going to start with Matthew Baker. <laughs> Ever since kindergarten, Matthew and I have been friends, and I would go over to his house and play until I had to go home. He's always been here for me, like if I'm struggling in class or if I'm struggling with something personal, and I thank him for that. Next is Caroline Dunn. Caroline and I have had a rough patches, but let's just say we haven't always been friends. When she first came here, we got off on the wrong foot and ended up not getting along. But thanks to time at KYA dance parties, eventually we got over it, and I'm glad I became friends with you. Now it's Grayson's turn. Grayson is the only person in the class who can make everyone laugh one second and make everyone uncomfortable the next. <laughs> Whether it's her comforting smile or her random jokes, we could rely on her to make us feel better. Well, as long as you want on her bad side that day. <laughs> what can I say about Kobe Bridwell? Here's a guy who's been my friend for a while now. Though we never really talked constantly or knew if one another made it on to school on time, we always knew we could talk to each other if we needed to. Now, I'm not going to really miss Kobe because I'll be going to school with him next year and seeing him every day. Matthew Wallen. Matthew Wallen could always make me smile. We used to do cross country together, and he would always beat me, but at least I tried. Now, he's a great friend to me, and I'm going to miss him next year. Now, let's talk about Cedric Silva. Cedric joined a class in the sixth grade and made some friends pretty fast. In the seventh grade, Ryan and Cedric used to help me at recess kickballs. Cedric could always almost make me laugh, and we had some awkward times together, but I wouldn't change a thing. Next is Kylie Younger, AKA Green Bean. Ever since kindergarten, Kylie and I have been giving each other fashion advice and making jokes with each other. She's been a great friend to me, and I can't wait to, wait to see what the future holds for her. Her best friend is Savannah. Savannah Ford is a person we can rely on to be there. Whether it's a personal issue or a school project we may have made too extreme, she was there. I hope to see her again after the school year. <coughs> Next is Ryan Martin. Ryan joined our class in the seventh grade, but now it seems like he's been here just as long as I have. He seems like he can never take anything seriously, but really, he's a guy who if you have a problem he, and go to him, he will help you. He may have talked about some weird things, but I still like talking to him. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, you are a friend of me, and I'm gonna miss you next year. Rachel Peachy, who can, be for, who can never be forgotten because of how loud she can be, came to our class in the fifth grade, and we've become friends ever since. She is my boo, and I'm going to miss you next year, Rach. Megan Farmer. Megan and I have been going camping with Grace for the past four spring breaks. She's an amazing singer and a great friend. She defends someone when you wrong them and comfort them if you got hurt. Megan stuck up for her friends. I'm going to miss having her around to keep me sane next year. Grace Brewer. Grace Brewer and I go way back to the garden. Her parents and mine became friends, which caused us to become friends. Ever since then, we've become family. <laughs> Speaking of our family, our other family member is Miranda Sheehan. Randy and I have a very special relationship. We seem like sisters at one moment, and the next moment, the next thing you know, we're trying to rip each other apart. <laughs> In the end, we're still best friends. She may have only come to school three years ago, but I'm glad she did. Hey, Becky. After we graduate tonight, you better see me again. I'm going to throw some mean hand motions at you that we made up. Annabelle Majors, who went to the 20th Pilots concert with me this year, is a great human being with the toughest, kindest heart I've ever known. I'm going to miss you, Annabelle, and the hype is still real, my T.O.P. rep. Megan Wiggins, and I have some rough patches down the road, but when you've been in the same class in kindergarten, you should expect that. She's just a fun person to be around and always makes things. Kenny Domingos joined our class right in the middle of seventh grade. He was my dance partner for the musical, and we would always have fun arguing with each other at recess during football. Next is Patrick Lowcraft, AKA Patricia. Patrick came to our class last year. He's always <laughs> smiling, helps everyone for computer problems. He sometimes impressed me with his ambitious goals. Anthony Martinet was almost always quiet, but we'll never forget him. He can be funny once he starts opening up to you. Now Miguel Hernandez, AKA Miggles or the Cuban. Miguel is always making people smile and laugh. He's been a pretty good friend to me since joining our class in the fifth grade. Next is Alexander Wagner. Xander is one of my better friends. He's a person I go to if I need help, support, or maybe even some hype. But I won't be missing him either because I'll be seeing him too at Walton County. 
<laughs> Evan Price would be up early in the morning for Governor's Cup events with Grant and I, and stay after school for quick recall practice or games like I did. We definitely began to talk because of that. Now last, but not least, is Grant Corson. I can't say much about this person, is what I would have said if he wasn't the first person I talked to in kindergarten. He means very much to me. From kindergarten to eighth grade, he's been the person I'll go to with all my problems. We went from coloring people purple in kindergarten, to connecting random dots we would draw in my math notebook in fifth grade, to drawing in math in eighth grade. If the teachers had known about us getting each other off task since kindergarten, I think they'd probably stop letting us sit next to each other, but for some reason they didn't. I'll miss him since my mom said he can't come live with us at our house, but I'm going to force him to see me every now and then. <laughs> so now, I think it's my turn to teach them something. After nine years, I've realized when people in this class don't know the answer to something, they will start to freak out. Everyone in this class is smart, but it's okay to say, I don't know, or let me get back to you on that. This will come in handy in the future when your parents ask you when you're planning to move out of their basement, and you answer, I don't know, let me get back to you on that. <laughs> But jokes aside, I think we will have great things waiting for us in the future. We are ready to start the next chapter of our lives. We can go to high school and say we've made it and we are prepared. So follow your passions, stay true to yourself, and never follow someone else's path. Unless you're in the woods and you're lost and you see a path, by all means you should follow that. <laughs> Thank you for your time, and remember, I'm this old.